So many sets. So many minus threes. What was your score? Three one to you. Well, who? Which game? Which game did Alex win? Okay, thank you. You have the winner of that one there. Those two. <laughs> well, it's your fault for beating Zaya. You wouldn't have had to fight him if you lost to Zaya. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> have they chosen? Uh, the song they've chosen is so quiet. Maybe if Lockman chose it. Maybe Lockman chose it so he could hear Snake better. Whoa, that magnet hands. No, you want to hear Snake? We could if you wanted to. Lockman trying to find this stock a bit too early, if you ask me. Again, very lucky that that energy went through that C4. Not gonna find the confirm. Went to the up smash that I told him he shouldn't do. Maybe. It did make sense to do that. Getting hit by that grenade. Ooh. Disadvantage very hard for characters against Corrin. Even Snake, even though it's not a great matchup. Oh, will he land? What was that Terry player called? Corrin's. Corrin's down air, big stinky. like. feet. Well, it's stinky if I'm talking about Lockman. Oh, not like that. We have a big crowd watching this set right now. A lot of believers in Ktool, I believe. Yep, yep. Very hard to get out of that. Not as easy as it sounds, catching another landing. But going under the back there. Going for the side B. Uh, just reversal after reversal for Lachlan. Not gonna, not gonna find that ledge trap. Lock iPhone back in the center of the stage. Chucking the grenades back on. I feel like, yeah, iPhone was in disadvantage for about 30 seconds there and makes it back to the center of the stage only 50% worse off. Lockpoint trying to dance around the grenades in the corner, but gonna get crossed up, gonna get mixed up on shields. Snake does that so well, and I Phoenix makes such good use of it. Too slow to really punish that side B as well. Reaching 166% on Snake. Not an uncommon sighting, to be fair. But definitely has to look out for Curran's kill moves right now. Very easy to do when you can stay away with your grenades. Gonna get caught by the Uppy, but not even gonna take that stock. Yeah, catching the grenade and throwing it. Probably not what he meant to do, and getting hit by the Nikita. I Phoenix changes his controls. Game one to I Phoenix. <laughs> what game did Zaya win? Three. Okay, thank you. Can Cats and Sonyeli play, please? <laughs> Things have been run really well today. We've been on a tight schedule. We're gonna finish with like half an hour to spare for all with. I wonder why. <laughs> no, Sora. <laughs> Looking in the background, I can see Metro on Captain Falcon against Mark. Get a bit jiggy with it. Lockman yap yap yapping. Tom just trying to close out this set in a fast fashion. Lachlan not changing his tag, trying to throw game two. 
doing another fist bump. <laughs> Hi, Willy Cheese. You're just in time for game two of I Phoenix vs. K Tools. I have to switch their tags around again. Ooh, what a banger. Back onto Battlefield. I do not rate this pick for either player, really. There's plenty of reasons that both of these characters would like this stage. Why isn't he playing Lucas? Because he feels generous and doesn't want to play the plus three matchup. Nice, this is the fucking Joker in the back. <laughs> Joker, the Joker in the back. I don't think I Phoenix. I don't think I Phoenix would switch to Joker. I think he'd beat the Lucas anyway. Tom is not a. Well, Tom believes in Joker. Tom thinks Joker's broken, but he doesn't want to play Joker because he likes more skill expressive characters. Unlike Lockwood, going for that back air to close out that stock. <clears throat> Getting loads of grabs on my phone right now. Getting reversed out of the corner. Classic snake dash attack moment. He did get bored of. Well, he never had easy wins. I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't put them like easy wins. I just think um, they were they were hard fought losses maybe. Unlike this one, which is looking to be quite in Lockman's favor right now. Tom not quite landing either of those explosions. Yep, sneaking under that, back a... Uh, going for the core not be... Not quite gonna get hit. Ooh, neutral get up into that. Very ill-advised, but not timed properly by Tom. Caught by the pin. Going for dash tech. Laying out the grenades. Yep. Getting hit. Lachlan should not be landing with forward out onto the grenades. I would definitely not recommend that. Getting hit by that dash tech, expecting Tom to do something a bit more stationary. Yep. And another Nikita taking the stock. These... <laughs> these could be winning these. According to Toja, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's an even matchup. <clears throat> I don't think it's that bad. I think Koran has some really good tools for keeping Snake in disadvantage. Um, and also, just to, every time Snake is in the air or off stage, especially without double jump, Koran can profit so much of using. <laughs> Not quite gonna shield break there. Lachlan tried his own. And suddenly the percents have become very, very even, getting escorted back to the stage by that grenade. Well, that's the thing. Corrin is so good at catching snake landing and recovering. Can get reversal by the grenades every so often. But, ooh, yeah, I'm trying to get back down. Corrin has similar problems, though. So we've seen Lachlan get caught by so many Nikitas. Yep, getting put into a check chase by that and getting hit by that grenade. Trying to sneak under that, but what run wise to it. I'm taking percent. Tom is out of the game. One fifty percent is not good against Snake. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> and he killed himself anyway. He's so generous. Snake tightening his headband. Got to close out this game too. From something of a deficit. Oh, is Snake ever really a deficit. Yep, getting caught with that jump. Nothing much Lachlan could have done there except hide and shield, which Tom probably scouted out as well. Dash attack catching the grenade. Jumping across the platforms, doing another neutral be off the platform. Grenade coming out, getting hot by the very last frames of that back air, getting run up, grabbed. Oh, not quite reading that. It's Lachlan's shield getting reversals. Grabbed up ahead. Approaching, Tom approaching so much right now. Yep. <laughs> what was I supposed to do in those interactions? <laughs> Nothing works that is intended. Oh. He's switching to Lucas. Going, going, going for the minus two <laughs> to the plus two. Tom was best of playing a bit. He is bringing out the win button. <laughs> you know, Lachlan tried to rob a with me last night. He said he wanted to rob you Corrin, and then he spent two hours finding Lucas vods. Which, like, you can't even bother you Lucas with. Lachlan, because he just says all the words that Lucas is doing and how good or bad they are. Getting another fist bump. So much respect between these two players. I've never seen this level of respect. Going back to Battlefield, I 
do not know why. For Lucas. You get wings! Oh, not gonna get two framed. Okay. Very hard to line up that. And suddenly, all these grenades that were so useful in the prior games are kind of not employed against Lucas. Very dangerous to pull out in case Lucas recovers any HP with them. He's got the C4 on his forehead. <laughs> he's a unicorn! Lachlan, no fear though. Running around like he's not got an explosive on his forehead. He was mashing too hard and he couldn't react to it. Okay, good spot dodge though. Messing up the Zare, but it doesn't matter, Tom Tech chasing him. Okay, putting himself with his back to the ledge, not gonna get two for him again. And yeah, can't be playing like that. Going higher over Lucas, not much Lucas can do about that. Trying to line up the PK freeze, but it's not gonna happen. Yep, <laughs> Lachlan has changed the up smash for the F smash. Yep, dipping into that. Lachlan might have been right. Anything Snake would do to pressure the platforms with grenades do not matter against Lucas, both because he's so short and doesn't jump up to them, and also because he can just absorb the grenades. Tom does not want to be placing grenades passively at all. Damage is rocking up. Yeah, we're gonna get caught just on the outside here to that. Safe lock string, but not gonna get much off it. Healing a bit off that grenade there. <laughs> Windbox in it behind him and getting hit by it. I don't know why Lachlan did that. Yep, with punishing. And this is where Tom just goes with punish mode, trying to catch all of Lachlan's landings. As hard as it may be with Lucas. Ooh, coming just past that. Okay. <laughs> Wise enough to not get hit by that. Who's that up smash? Go for up smash. Up smash in the wrong way. Or is it the right way? What do I know that what do I not know that Tom does? So Tom dashed in on Lucas's down tilt, was behind him when he would have got grabbed, and then got C4 in the leg of Lucas grab. Interesting interactions we'll see in the right now. Definitely two seasoned players of Lucas Snake. You will not find him much better than this. Saving himself with that grenade. Nikita in the wrong way though. The Apollo Kage going to lose Tom that stock. A nice STI. Luke Lachlan not going to find anything off that. Got no momentum on that. Up either. Yep, finding a landing onto the platform. That's very helpful against Snake on this stage. Yep. Going up there. <laughs> Shooting a PK fire, gonna hit Snake's forehead, but gonna get shielded. Lots of shield coming out between these two right now. Both of them too scared to get in close enough to go for a grab, going for a dash tag. Putting Lachlan off stage, no double jump. Trying to find that stock, gonna get the bad angle, not gonna get that. Game three to ten. And that is a somewhat swift three. Yeah.